guys, Gary here. Let's review the Age of Adeline. I attempted to watch the Age of Adeline a couple of years ago, but lost track of it, so I found it on Netflix recently and decided to give it my focus this time. I both liked and disliked Age of Adeline. Trailers made it feel like The Curious Cage of Benjamin Button, but it's nothing like it, not even a little bit. I do think the concept had potential. The outline, the direction, I thought was in the right place. It's a romance phenomenon about a woman who finds herself ageless after an accident, something involving the universe in the 1930s. As time goes on, she goes through several love interests, but finds herself running, so it not to get noticed by friends or the authorities that she doesn't age. Even though a near two hour runtime, the film seems to brush over all of its elements, with a narrator explaining a lot of what's happening in front and behind the scenes, and not letting the film just explain itself. I do enjoy romance films, especially if they have some sort of mystery or unexplained phenomenon like this one. For example, The Time Traveler's Wife. I love that one. That movie also leaves you wanting more of an explanation, but I found myself satisfied with that, with what was given to me. In an age of Adeline, there seems to be so much missing. A character shows up near the end played by Harrison Ford, and only when he arrives do they give you a backstory of their romance 50 or 60 years ago. Adeline has a daughter born in the 1930s as well, and that's all brushed over. I would have liked to see more of their relationship together as Adeline became ageless and their struggle as Adeline chooses a lifestyle of running and changing her identity. Adeline's emotions seem cold all the way through the film, with no range of emotion with her daughter or her love interest. As I've said already, this film felt brushed right over. Blake Lively is a good actor, but her character deserves so much more emotion. I believe this film could have been benefited with a slightly different direction, or at least another 20 minutes really to divulge Adeline's personal struggles with herself and her family. I won't really be recommending Age of Adeline. Thanks for watching. You agree or disagree? Put a comment down below me.